on to the problem number 21 here stock y and stock z are given with the following information so in the problem we can look into we have particulars stock y and stock z the information given are expected returns and expected variance as well as covariance of y and z the question goes like this does an investor gain any advantage of holding sum of Y and Z? By having both the shares, is it useful for the investor or not? Has to be decided. That is what the question is all about. So how to decide whether it is good to hold or not good to hold? For that, we have to go for a relationship here called as correlation. Correlation shows the relation between the two variables or two investments here, nothing but two variables. In the question, it is not mentioned what is to be calculated. So we have to understand from the question what has to be calculated. So we have to calculate here the correlation. First, we have to find is the relation between the two stocks are positive or negative. If it is positive, they can continue to hold. If it is negative, then they have to think of going for a different combination instead of same combination of Y and Z. This is the main part of this particular question. So let me go for denoting this. Expected return is VR, variance is V. So if it is so, this is 15 going to be ER of Y. ER of Z, VY, VZ, VZ. So let me go for the coefficient correlation calculation here. Covariance of Y and Z is given as 8, but we need here standard deviation of Y, standard deviation of Z. But we don't have in the problem straight away the value of the standard deviation. But we have value of variance. Variance is given. So variance is equal to the standard deviation square. If I simplify that because we need standard deviation, standard deviation is equal to square root of V. So let me try to find the standard deviation of Y then standard deviation of Z. So for that I have to go for square root of variance. Let me go for the square root of the first stock that is uh, y so square root of 9 that is going to be 3 next for z 16 that is going to be 4 so I have found standard deviation for y standard deviation of z stock so I will go for my substituent here 3 and 4 so 8 divided by 12 that is going to be 0 0.666 recurring so the correlation here is positive correlation that means y and z are doing good so combination is good so we can conclude here there is a question does the investor gain any advantage of holding the sum of y and z definitely yes because it is a positive correlation so negative correlation then they have to leave this one of the stocks and go for the other stock so we can say there is no advantage of holding a combination of 
y and z as risk cannot be reduced because they are positively correlated positively correlated but if they want to reduce the risk they can also go for the different one because here if they find that they are related if they want to reduce more risk risk is there sd is a calculation if you want to reduce that they have to go for a different combination then they can go for uh, reduction of the losses reduction of the risk Thank you.